Mark Lanigan and Isabel Campbell, um, formerly of Bell and Sebastian, I believe, um, singing uh, We Die and See Beauty Reign, which is pretty much part and parcel of my uh, whole existence to, uh, to die to this world uh, even while being a joyful reflection of Christ's grace in it. Boom. Done. Thanks, Lanigan and Campbell. Uh, my meditation today was such a sweet one and um, joyful in uh, contrast to some of the other things I've been dwelling on. So simple, so delovely. Psalm 92 4. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the work of thy hands. I mean, there's a, there's a double, parse, double part of that. Both of them sweet. My mind does not go to the, the most literal uh, portion of it uh, immediately. Mine kind of went to the fact that I am not uh, my own savior, and I am not responsible necessarily for the uh, specific machinations that shall earn me uh, the righteous path, but indeed that the righteous path uh, shall be chosen for me, and then I shall walk in the light of it with guidance in specific, and not only that, but by uh, the the reunion, the joyful reunion that God wrought for us in Jesus Christ was that we might then be fueled, be fueled with passion for that, divinely fueled by, by supernatural passion, my loves and my ladies and my lords. And indeed that it is his work that is good within me. And what a pleasure and what a delight. And it also answers all the questions as to myself as to why why the fleeting nature of um, satisfaction in self, even things in things that are good or in things that are delightful or joyful or whatever, that law of diminishing returns of all uh, sweet things on this earth. But then secondly, and the sweetness of the day helped me with this, and then the meditation, the sort of devotion thing I was reading today, was the specific works of his hands. And I know one of the constant uh, conundrums and debates that come betwixt uh, those who see God and those who do not is uh, the sort of creation, evolution, spontaneous creation, or intended creation, or intelligent design, that whole blah 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 debate. Uh, and I'm not going to get into that here because I don't really care about it that much because I don't really think it matters on a practical day-to-day -day basis. Um, the only thing I will say is, as I know some people can look with an eye for science, scientists, and say uh, none of this needed any uh, guidance or any um, any miracle or any supernatural intent uh, to happen. It just happens. It just happens, and, and chance is uh, a miracle unto itself. Maybe. I don't know how God creates stuff, but I just know as an artist... Um, as an artist, yeah, that's right, I said it without having to be sarcastic the first time and then somehow felt the need to apologize. As an artist, um, as one who makes and relishes and just sucks the marrow out of art, I can't help but see an artist's hand on the beauty of this world around us. It was raining today with a cloudy sky, with a cloudy bright sky, and in the vein of every leaf I cannot help but see design. I cannot help but see patterns, and I in in the in the swirling of cream and coffee, and in the swirling of uh, galaxies in space, and in the spirals of coral growth, and in the spirals of the the shells of hermit crabs, and the spirals of uh, flower growth. I cannot help but see patterns and designs and themes and. Uh, again, God's space period, and then his water period, and then his, his like, li you know, his inter interwebby line period, and that the parts of our body look like coral reefs too, and that there's all these uh, resonances, and, and the multiplicity of beauty on this earth. 
Um, some may sit and relish in chance, and maybe they are gamblers uh, by nature, but I'm an artist by nature, and I look and I see all that exists as does, as created, as made. It was made. Like, you, if you show me a painting uh, and there are brush strokes on it, I'm not going to be like, well, yeah, no, it just happened. It certainly could happen. I still will readily agree that all things are possible, and that painting could have simply come into being. But anybody who's made art, and, uh, and I'm a storyteller as well, so I cannot help but be caught up in the fact that there is a grand story that we're all involved in, that it's not just this sort of linear path from, from origination to destruction. There is, a, there is something here that there stories and rules of three and, uh, resonate uh, so deeply within me because uh, that's what I'm, and that's how I'm drawn. And again, I feel like sometimes people need to listen to the artists first and foremost, and that's because of, of that group that I believe it should be so. But as an artist and a storyteller, and then just as one who's felt the presence of God through no machinations or seeking of my own, a God made this. God made all this. Made this. Made us in all our multiplicity. And made all this beauty. And was like, it's so delightful uh, a, a, a movement, a force, a being, a whatever. I don't know if we have the words to describe what a, a creator of all this would be. An, ar an artist such as like, was like, this is so fun. Who can, can I share this with? And then how can I get them to see what it is like without me. And indeed, what we're looking at now is just a sh are shreds and patches of, of the fullness of self. And I think we all, you, you can see how we all scramble for fulfillment, feeling unfulfilled. But we seek fulfillment that we might find fulfillment. And indeed, then, all these ruptures, and again, a lot of people are like, you know, the Bible, Everything they say Jesus did, rose from the dead, virgin birth, these are assaults on biology and physics. I was listening to NPR this morning. And they are impossible. So they're spitting in science's face. And at first I was like, that doesn't make it. They're mere, they are by nature miracles. Don't we always take note of things that seem to spit in the face of things that we hold as just law, as gravity? Uh, <laughs> Any laws, any laws of physics, of course, then why would you not take note of that? And that was the whole point. People took note. People said, A, someone, here's someone speaking truth to us in the way that we know, fulfilling all these prophecies, which were mysterious and sort of crazy and divine anyway, and then ruptured these things that we hold to be uh, sacrosanct in our understanding of the universe. And if he did that, why wouldn't you do that? You do that as a, as a signpost. And then you make sure enough people see it that everyone talks about it and corroborates the story. Yes, people have used the Word of God for corrupt purposes and to their own end. But look at it for itself. Again, this is why the beauty of the book exists as well. It's another beautiful creation as to go, hey, no, let's look back at that which people saw and said, here's what he said, and here's what happened, and it, was, it blew my mind. And not only that, uh, went after these things had occurred and he was around no longer then these other things started it, it, it birthed a, a movement of spiritual renewal on this earth uh, the likes of which has never been seen and continues to resonate and affect us still and I am joyful for that story I am joyful for a story of breakage and reunion reunion by God's own blood for me, for you I'm happy for his storytelling period as much as I am for his leafy, although this tree outside is <coughs> rocking my soul. <laughs> Peace be unto you, that's enough before I copy and fit it out. Amen and say lie.